Hey guys, Luke Turvey here from Optical Studios and I'm going to be showing you how to make a simple workbook from Microsoft Excel 2010. This is what your end design is going to look like. These are just symbolizing what you can do. You've got your chart and you've got your sales figures. So go to File and New and Blank Workbook. You can double click that or press Create. Obviously you've got many templates to choose from as well if you don't want to make it yourself but I'm going to show you how to make it yourself. Press create and go to A1 and put in the title of your business or your shop. If you've come from 2003 to 2010, yes it looks quite scary with all these new tabs but it's quite simple to use. I find it easier now that I've moved. So straight away you can see it overlaps B. So click A1 and go to drag it to D and press merge and center. So it merges all these cells into one and makes it a lot easier to use. So we'll color that, put it bold and up the font a bit. And still at this point you could merge more if you really wanted to but I'm not going to. So to make the business uh, figures we're going to want to put in the months so we'll start from September instead of writing out each month you can just click this little black box and drag it across which is a lot easier than writing out and quicker then these boxes down here you're going to want to put in um, the stuff you're selling so say we're selling hard disk drives uh, keyboard Ooh. Keyboard Capture Capture card and RAM. Obviously you can see this is overlapping as well. For this all you have to do is drag this across a bit. Same with the November bit. And then you're gonna want your total damn typos. Total there and a total there. Once you've got all that, type in your sales figures. So first, hard disk drives, I'll say I've sold 80 in September, uh, 100 in October and in November, 40. Then in keyboards, I'll just make up all these totals. That's probably unrealistic there. Capture cards. 50, 60, and 37. And for your RAM, 80, 56, and 24. What makes Excel so good for doing this? Um, it's a lot easier than doing it by hand, obviously, because it calculates it for you and it tells if you go wrong. So you want your total. Click in your B8. B8 box or wherever next your total is and press auto sum and it will sum up September press enter now obviously you haven't got October or November so click on your total and click this little black box and drag and there it is there and for these totals do the same thing auto sum enter click on the box and drag down now you have all your totals and everything you need so September, October and how much you've sold in total. Um, to make it more colourful and appealing to the eye, you can fill in the boxes with the fill tool here. Just do that quickly. Right. So once you've got that, you don't have to do that obviously, you're going to want a chart to show your branch manager. So click on insert and go to column. Obviously you can have any chart you want but columns I'd say is the easiest to show this type of information. You can have 3D or 2D. 3D looks better but I'll show you in 2D. Then you just have a blank box. So click on select data, you have to be clicked on this black box or it goes away. So press select data, this little box here, and 
select everything. Press enter. Press OK. And here is your graph. There's many other things you can do with Word, like wrapping text, which is, say, you got that, it'll go across. You can wrap the text so it's just in that box. You could, what else can you do? Add clip art, like I showed earlier, these little symbol things. You can add your own your own uh, pictures if you want to. Um, what else? You can add hyperlinks, text box, headers and footers. What these two things symbolize is you'll have two pages printed. So obviously you don't want that. So go to file, print and page setup. And fit to one page by one page and it will fit on one page go to home and you won't have that anymore other things you can do are many different formulas like um, the date the average of all these like what the average amount of sales is um, many financial things for your businesses you can do countless stuff. Windows Watch, which is uh, obviously monitoring values of cells, data, you can get data from web. You can filter out different things. Say if you've got a massive spreadsheet or from sales figures from 2001 all the way to 2010, you press filter and it'll, you can type in 2010 November and it will go straight to November skipping out older 2001 to 2009 remove duplicates so if you've got a massive spreadsheet of say you're sending out messages um, not messages uh, letters to different companies obviously you don't want to send them two letters say if you've uh, in extracted your database from yell.com you can press remove duplicates and it will get rid of all the double companies and that's oh yeah you can also protect your workbook so nobody else can touch it or edit it and you can share your workbook you zoom in and out just like you could in 2007 and 2003 zoom to selection but we don't want that and that's pretty much the basics of Excel. Thanks for watching guys, this is how to make a simple worksheet.